Modesto City Schools is the largest school district in Stanislaus County, and we serve about 30,000 students, very diverse community, uh, a lot of poverty in Modesto. Overall, it's about 75%, so you can see that our students come from uh, families of need. When I first started here at Modesto City Schools, technology had not been upgraded in over 10 years. The equipment was old, it was outdated. We set out on a mission to basically look at how could we do it better. As Modesto City Schools explored ways to increase student outcomes, we knew that our students need to be exposed to the digital world. Many of the future just keeps moving ahead of us and it's education's responsibility to try to keep up. Davis High School was experiencing declining enrollment. Mike Rich talked to me and he said, you know what I really think we need to do to attract more people to come to Davis High School? Let's talk about having a digital high school. Right now the students all have the HB360. It's a laptop device that folds into a tablet. It's touch screen. So uh, in classrooms you'll see students writing with pens, you'll see them writing with fingers. It is a tool we use to help engage, collaborate, discuss and learn. For me it was a struggle always to get them to be motivated and want to learn. And the students in the classroom use their HP 360 device, which allows them to use it more as a tablet so they can easily use the touch screen. A couple years ago, we experimented with Chromebooks. We found them to be challenged to use, and it didn't allow the students to explore the full digital world that we wanted. So we moved to the, um, the HP X360, and we piloted with those devices. They were very durable. Um, students liked them. I'm the firm believer that technology just makes everything easier for me. It doesn't replace me as a teacher, but it does enhance me as a teacher. And I'm able to do things in my classroom that I was never able to do before. It really individualizes the, the learning for each student. And that's really difficult when you have 40 students in your classroom. So in, in that way, it's like giving them a teacher they can take home. We have students that are um, in Language Institute that are new to uh, California, new to the United States. The ability to have their content on a device, I mean, it really opens up the doors to the entire world. Getting students uh, to use technology in the classroom is just going to open up more opportunities for them in the future. You know, when you look at 21st century learning, you know, when students go to career or students go to college, they're going to need to be able to collaborate with lots of different types of people. I and mean, we kind of just jumped in and, and, and went for it. Um, had some, some definite, you know, speed bumps along the way, but it's been really positive, I think, overall. We were very, very fortunate to have the support of the superintendent and the board. Now that we've completed our three-year infrastructure upgrade, we have standardized on our applications and software that we use here. We are a Windows shop. All machines have Office. We have set a direction um, on standard technology for both our students and teachers. It was vital because it needed to happen. It needed to happen because we needed to get our students in the 21st century, finally.